They're every parent's worst nightmare. Enough already. I told you to stop complaining. Kids completely out of control and taking over the household. <laughs> These families have reached the end of the road. You can't get one. They're in desperate need of help. Oh. They only have one alternative left. Damn. It's time to dial Nanny 911. Hello, this is Nanny 911. We've gathered a team of world-class nannies from all over the globe. Each week from Nanny Central, they will watch a video of a family in crisis. And decide which nanny is best suited to help. They will then have one week to take our families from living hell to a family bliss. Look at me, I'm serious. There are gonna have to be some major changes that go on. That's the plan. Can these families be saved? No, we leave her. It doesn't have to be this extreme. I am trying to show you a better way to do this. <laughs> Parents of America, help is on the way. Hello! Tonight, the Johnston family needs help. Seven girls are too much. <gasps> even for the world's best mom. I know I'm a good mom. They're totally out of control. Ouch! Kristen needs to learn to relax because she has a heart condition. It's uh, starting to affect my health. I developed a heart arrhythmia. And even though he's a cop, Scott hasn't got a clue. Don't you like playing tackle football better? No! Can Nanny Yvonne save this family? This week, it's Daddy's Day Out. Four, six, seven. All right, we got seven. Three. Where's your sister, Rebecca? On Nanny 911. All right, enough. Enough already. <laughs> My family, well, it's big. So easy. My wife, Kristen. I have seven daughters. Right Olivia, Hannah, Kaylee, <laughs> Amelia, Molly, Rebecca, and Natalie. It's uh, the full house. When I first met Kristen, I knew in the back of my mind pretty fast that she was going to be the one. We did want to have a large family, and I think we did that. <laughs> Seven kids, you know, that's it. I think we're done. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're done. <laughs> there are definitely days where I'd come home and the house is torn apart. Oh, my God. Who made a big mess? Me. There's only one full bathroom. Oh, thank you. And every time I want to go, they're in there. Uh, and as soon as one comes out, another one's running in. Hurry up, I have to go. It's gonna be difficult. Hurry up. I tend to take a lot on. Okay, we're gonna get juiced as soon as we get dressed, okay? I'm a super, super planner. Um, I like everything on the calendar. The calendar for the month is always full. Kristen overplans everything. I don't need plans. Can I watch the game? He turns the TV on and kind of just locks everyone in the room and forces them to watch TV. You know, that's my biggest probably complaint. He doesn't realize how much I really do, definitely. Are we getting close to eating? Uh, no. What are you doing out there? Meals are pretty chaotic. Olivia, eat your dinner. Molly is eating and acting like an adult and all of you acting like little kids. A lot of times it seems like I'm angry. I don't like that word. He has a shorter um, fuse. Girls, quiet. Both these. He'll yell a lot quicker than anybody else. You cut it out, enough. Mom's going in the Probably the only one that they all will listen to. Kidding. Do not tell me what you're doing, all right? <laughs> he makes everybody run when he yells, you know? I'll sleep with you. You're going to go to sleep in a second. Get out. <laughs> Just a little piece of chicken, look. I don't say no a lot. I'm a people pleaser. I like to, do, you know, make everybody happy. But I think it's definitely taking its toll on my health. And if I know I don't eat right, I don't sleep right. You need to go to bed. No, I'm not going to bed. Uh, 
having little breakdowns, you know, crying fits. <laughs> There's only so much my brain can handle. Three months ago, I woke up and my heart was pounding. I got out of bed and I kind of sat on the couch and the kids started waking up and I couldn't move. It hurt my ears, that's how hard it was pounding. They're still not really sure what happened, why it happened. Oh, I mean, it was scary. So they had to rush me to the hospital. I was diagnosed with a heart arrhythmia, and the doctor believes it's stress-related, and I need to really slow down and take care of myself. I've been tested and been in and out of the hospital, and now on medication to keep the rate of my heart lower. We're young, we've got a lot of kids, and I want to be by myself. A lot of people say we were twins separated at birth and then found each other. This weekend, on doctor's orders, I'm going away. So this is the first time he'll be completely by himself. I'm very nervous. <laughs> Why is the floor soaking wet? So what do you think, girls? These children have the run of the house. No wonder she has heart problems. He needs to stop yelling and help her around the house more. Yeah, he, he definitely needs to stop barking his orders. He's got little girls, they're not cadets. Having reviewed this case, I have decided that Yvonne's loving nature is right to tame this family. Yes. I'm Nanny Yvonne, and I've been dispatched to Long Island, New York. My understanding is that the Johnstons have some problems. Kristen has her hands full with seven rambunctious daughters, and all that work has resulted in a heart condition. Scott is a hard-working New York cop with a short fuse who has never been left alone with the girls. Girls, quiet. Oh Olivia, put it down, now. His temper and Kristen's need to control are going to make it difficult for her to leave as planned. Given the state of Kristen's health, the stakes are incredibly high. It's my job to make sure that Kristen feels comfortable leaving the girls in Scott's care. I'm Nanny Yvonne, and I'm from Coventry, England. I've been a nanny for 15 years. Kristen needs to realize that raising a family takes teamwork. She is so stressed out that her health has been seriously compromised. She needs to step back and let Scott step up. This family needs Mom to stick around. I'm here to help them out. How are you doing? Must be Scott. Yes, I'm Scott. How are you doing? Great to meet you. How are you doing? You. Nice to meet you. Can I take my hat off? Can I stay a while? Yeah. Yeah? Great, great. Okay, so I'm going to observe you for a little while and uh, see how you manage to make all this work. You might even learn a thing or two. <laughs> My first impression of Nanny was she was extremely formal with her uniform and very businesslike, <laughs> and uh, I didn't know how it was going to go. Girl, stop it. Hey, listen, that's her. Hey, I'm listen, I'm going to separate the two of you. Cut it out. Separate the two of us, please. This family is quite overwhelming. Everybody fighting for one person's attention. No more candy. That's it. Nobody's riding it. Go put it in the back. There you go. You want best for Hannah? While Kristen devotes every waking minute to the girls, Scott spends his time as he pleases. In one day, I saw Mom take on more things than most take on in a week. It's time this father owns his responsibilities. Three little bears without a light, without a stick, without a rope, and all with the... Yeah, Even when Kristen is parenting for the both of them, Scott still loses his patience. Come on. <laughs> all right, good night. Good night. <sighs> 
Having seen enough, I decided it was time to sit down with Scott and Kristen. We've been observing you. You appear to um, be taking on everything. You have arrhythmia, mm -hmm. which is an irregular heartbeat. Right. <laughs> so what has the doctor said? A lot of it is not eating right, not taking care of myself, and mm -hmm. stressing about everything. I know I'm going to be in the hospital, mm -hmm. you know, which is not the worst case, obviously, but, well, you know. The worst case <laughs> potential is heart failure. Yeah. Tomorrow, we're going to come up with a plan to help you. Great. We're going to take some of this stress away and um, get you well. Okay? okay? Good. okay. I've observed the Johnstons, and now it's time for me to institute some changes before it's too late. So, Kristen, seriously, you need to take better care of yourself. You haven't been doing what the doctor ordered. You must take time to eat properly. Just a little piece of chicken. Look. You need to let Scott take on some of the responsibilities. His way may not be your way but his way is good enough. And Scott knows that. Scott, you've just got to be more proactive with how you go about it. You need to insist to Kristen. Kristen, I'm bathing the girls. Now sit down, OK? I'll find something after that. <laughs> well, you know, she's not going to like it at first because she's not used to it. I'll get lazy. <laughs> you won't get lazy. And Scott, I am going to help you play girl games with the girls. There you go. Yeah. You've got seven daughters. Do your nails. <laughs> Maybe not do your nails, but you could certainly do their nails. And as far as the children, the girls are old enough to start doing some chores. Don't feel like you're bad parents for asking them to simply pick up the clothes that they just took off. You need to stick around here. You're in this for the long haul. Your life can literally depend on this. So what do you think about this? It sounds reasonable. If we can get it to work, that would be sure. great, yeah. Believe in him. Right. Natalie, turn around. I sensed some resistance from Kristen. Scott's got his work cut out for him. It's going to take a lot for her to uh, let go. And it's going to get worse before it gets better. First, we need to change how the household runs. Everyone in the family needs to pitch in. So, Kristen, how are you going to implement the new rules? They're going to set the table tonight. They are. Yes. Fabulous. It's important that Kristen has the girls pitch in at mealtimes. Okay. Most of the girls are old enough to help out. Olivia, please go get the napkins. Mimi, you want to go get napkins? Olivia. No, I asked you. Olivia, you said Mimi. I did not say Mimi. Little I said Olivia. Fire. Kaylee, please don't talk like that. Olivia, yeah. you know what? I heard your yeah. daddy ask you very nicely to get the napkins. Olivia. Please go get the napkin. Good job, Olivia. She's not going anywhere. She's just hiding. Olivia. Olivia's had an attitude for the last two years. Olivia, get out from under the table now. You're not trying. She went from six to uh, 14. She kind of skipped all the middle years. Olivia, you know, you are the big sister. And if you don't listen to your daddy, then your sisters aren't going to listen. They already do. Well, one of the ways you can show your mommy and daddy that you love them is by listening to them. OK? All right, go and sit down. Because relaxing is imperative for her health, one of my goals at dinner time is to make Kristen sit down and eat a hot meal. So now you need to sit down and okay. take care of yourself. OK. It's hard when you're so used to doing something one way to listen to somebody say, you have to do it this way. The same way my kids don't want to listen to me when I say, you have to do it this way. This is you every single meal, OK? So it's not about giving up everything every single meal. Right. Very rarely do we get a nice, quiet meal. You're banging into my Back wall. Up. Kristen, yes. can I suggest that maybe that if she's kind of not sitting down, not listening, not eating, then that's it for the day? OK. We'll put it in the sink. You're all finished? So I've been advising Kristen that she needs to establish simple rules here. Can you take you your plate put and put it in the sink? As long as Kristen gives some clear direction, the girls will absolutely get it. Olivia? Olivia? 
I need you to take the garbage out for me. Okay, hold your nose, you can do it. Olivia was always a rebel. You know, if I say black, she says white, she fights me on almost everything. You can do it. <laughs> Olivia, over here. Olivia! I need you to do it. You break the bag, you're going to have to clean it up, so I suggest you don't throw it. To have someone tell her, this is what you need to do now, she's definitely resenting it. You're gonna move. Olivia's the oldest girl and should start taking on some responsibilities. She needs to start setting an example for the rest of the girls. She completely knows which buttons to press on you and she is completely playing you right now. Oh, yeah. You need to affirm that you're the parent and you are the boss mm -hmm. and she is not the boss of you, all right? Ultimately, you are the decision maker. I think I was more stressed out today than I was before this whole thing started. So now I'm just going to go in and check on the other kids. I'm learning that it's more stressful for me to try to change that much that quickly. Oh, God. Than to just slowly take my time and change a little bit every day. Kristen was a little apprehensive. You know, I think I hit home earlier about her health. I think she knows these suggestions are very helpful. It's just applying it. Kristen, this is the first time today I've seen you sit down. And you just don't seem to stop, and you've got such a high level of perfection. If you can just find five minutes now, just to kind of just de-stress, unwind, and prepare yourself for the next event. You are a wonderful mom. You're doing such an incredible job, but it's just right now all about giving yourself permission right, right. to take that five minutes. No, come here. Come here, you're doing, you are, you're brilliant. You are, okay? You are wonderful. Your kids love you, and you've been a great mom, and it shows. You've got great kids, okay? No one's faulting you as a mom. You're doing such a brilliant job, but <laughs> you've taken on the world. You are such a great mom. Such a great mom <laughs> and a great wife. But I, I know it. I know I'm a good mom. So why are you crying? <laughs> I don't know, because I'm not, I guess, being good enough to myself. And, uh... <laughs> It's hard to do that. It's just hard to change. It's and, hard. Uh, so I'll get there. I will. If you can just find five minutes now, just to kind of just de-stress. Right. Because you are just ongoing, ongoing all the time, and you just right. don't seem to stop. I told her to enjoy that relaxation moment. She took a big breath in, and then it just poured out that it really is too much. It was quite an emotional moment. I'm not, I guess, being good enough to myself. It was very upsetting for me to see that. It's hard to do that. It's just hard to change. Kristen finally recognized the fact that she's taken on too much. You know, you got 40 people asking you to do something, and... I get pushed to my limit. Kristen's breakdown convinced me that she needs to relax, and she needs to relax now. For her health, she needs to delegate and just hand off some of the responsibility. I'm giving her the rest of the day off and handing the household over to Scott. OK, so, Kristen, it's about time you gave Scott his wings, OK? We're going to insist that you sit down, because Scott needs to prepare for when you go away. And Scott, it's just Kristen allowing you to do it, all right? And you're going to sit down and you're going to relax. OK. All right? I do the dishes. <laughs> we'll take care of the dishes, OK? okay. All right, come all on, right. Scott. <laughs> Have fun. Can I clear the table? Is that all right? It's going to take some time for Kristen to relax. Scott wastes no time taking charge of the girls. OK, OK, OK. OK. It's going to stop. Sprinkles or no? No sprinkles. What Scott will learn after spending more time with the girls is that any event can turn into a fussy one. OK, that's OK. Don't worry about it. Oh, my OK. God. OK, 
Wait. and go to sleep. <laughs> Enough. Uh, my concern is Scott is going to lose his patience and there will be a lot of yelling and screaming going on. Kaylee, enough. Kaylee, enough. Kaylee. Nobody has light. You happy? Now put your head down and go to sleep. I told you to stop complaining and go to sleep. I don't like it. Now you have something to good. Now cry. <laughs> Kristen needs to give Scott a chance, but she simply refuses to. Kristen can't let go. I'm going to have to insist that she remove herself from the house tomorrow. At my insistence, Kristen is going to leave early for her weekend away. The hardest part for me going away is trying not to worry that Scott is going to lose his patience. And there'll be a lot of yelling and screaming going on. Kate. I told you to stop complaining and go to sleep. I know Hannah's having a hard time already, but I do need this break, and I'm going to do it. Where are you going, Mama? Mommy's going to go visit some friends. Mom! Haley. Oh. Daddy's going to be home, don't worry. I don't care. I know. I bet you're going to do some special things with Daddy. Daddy doesn't let us paint. He doesn't let you paint? Daddy does it. Oh, but I bet you he'll let you do lots of other things. All the things that I'm doing. Dad arrives to seven crying girls and one equally upset mom. It started by, as soon as I said, I'm leaving when you come home. Wait a minute. Trying to get Kristen to go without worrying about the kids, so it's time to show that it can be done without her doing it. Maybe she can relax a little more. What's the matter? But I want mommy. Uh, I'm going to be here. What are mommy for? I'm going to basically handle it all. Despite Kristen's lingering concerns with Scott's capabilities, it's time for her to leave. Hannah. Hannah. Easy, Liv. Liv, Liv, don't pop Olivia. it. Let's say goodbye, Mommy, and then we'll ride bikes. Sorry. <laughs> OK. I know, I'll get her. I don't think Kristen is quite ready at this point still to comfortably and confidently go away. Four, five, six. One in the car. Okay, wait, stop. Everybody give me a kiss. Yeah. Mommy's going bye-bye. Give me a kiss. Okay? Okay, I'll see you in Where's Hannah in the car? Yeah. Hannah, out of the car. No. Out of the car. No. Hannah, you're going to make me drag you out of the car? No. You have to get out. You're not going. Get out of the car. Dad is already having problems with the girls. And Mom hasn't even left yet. Hannah, get out of the car. Get out of the car. Daddy, I'm going to Hannah, come tomorrow. <laughs> 
Right? You're going to be with daddy, your son, and you're going to be fine. So you'll be all right? Yeah. I shouldn't worry, right? Not a problem. Yeah. I love you, and I will be back in a little while. Hannah's breakdown underlines just how desperately the kids need time alone with Scott. Bye, everybody. I love you all. I think Scott thinks he's very ready for this challenge. Hey. He's all alone with the seven girls, and it's going to be for quite a while. <laughs> and I don't think he realizes the intensity of what he's actually going to be taking on. I'm going to leave Scott to it for a while and see how he handles things. Daddy, you want to be there? He's not off to a very good start. Being that it's the first time I'm alone a whole weekend with him. You gotta uh, adapt. They're not used to it. I'm not used to it. It'll be fine. Where are you? Well, would you like a snack? Here I am with the uh, seven of them. Yeah. So far, so good. Okay, you want chips? There really are very important reasons why Kristen needed to get away this weekend. One was for Scott to realize the extent of what Kristen does on a day to day basis. And the other one really was for Scott to realize that he is more than capable of helping out. Natalie, you want chips? No. You want this? No. You want this? No. No, don't throw them. Do not throw them. Girls, can you do me one favor? No, I don't even want to listen. I know you don't. Can you help me clean up? No, don't throw them. Olivia, are you throwing them? No. Underhand. No. No, under, not over. Don't do it. Being at home alone with the girls, it's insane. It's way too much. Why is the floor soaking wet? Why is the floor soaking wet? Drain it and get out. I had to on getting out. All right, get out. Hurry up and get out, Olivia. I was in here first. Good, and now you're done. Get out. Easy, 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 easy. I heard you, and I don't. you don't talk that way. I'm not making it right now. You have to wait. It's clear that Scott has got to learn a better way of communicating with his children. Don't start. What's wrong with you? Kaylee. Hey. I don't like that word. <laughs> Quiet. Kristen may be in a less stressful environment, but she's far from relaxed. I have a little bit of guilt, a little bit of excitement about being away, and, and a little bit of uh, nervousness about how things are going to go at home. I'm sure the doctors would be happy that I was taking it a little easier. But I don't think I'll start relaxing overnight either. So, Scott, what's next? I guess we'll have Amelia and Ice Pop before we go up. Ice cream. No, Ice Pop's tonight. Ice cream. Come on. Amelia, come here. Amelia. Uh, All right, nothing. You get, you're going to get anything. Stop it. You know what? Daddy offered you two different kinds. I don't think the nanny's going to be the savior, you know, to correct things. Amelia, it's the last chance. All right, let's go upstairs. Come on, you're done. No! You're done. When I've had enough, I end it, and whatever I said I was going to do, I do. Come on, walk with me. Come on. Come on. Come on, walk. Enough. Enough! No, you're not No, Mommy went out. She had to go to a meeting. Stop it. It's almost impossible for, uh, you know, one parent to do it all. You cut it out. Enough. Enough. Now go to sleep. Scott, can we come outside for a little word, please? It certainly raised my eyebrows when he shouted. He just lost it. Would you like to tell me what just went on in there? Kids won't listen, so I yelled at him. What do you think yelling is going to prove? 
What do you know? You've been here a few days. I've been doing this for years. Yeah, well, obviously, your way is not working, is it? Because they're still not listening to you. Tonight was the last night of you yelling at them, Scott. And tomorrow, you will try my way. After my stern words with Scott, I sense that he may finally be willing to change. Let's hope so, for Kristen's sake. As far as yelling at them, I mean, I know I shouldn't do it, but still, uh, it's a work in progress. I'm trying to correct it. OK, OK, sit down. Blue. You want blue? Uh, yellow. All right, I'll give you another yellow one. Her ideas were definitely uh, good ideas. It was kind of just like a wake-up call. Thank you, Daddy. Scott really seems to have taken our little chat to heart. I really am going to stare at your way, Scott, because I know you can do this. Yeah, I don't need to go. Here's one. Here's two. I can't It's your sister. Your sister. Hold on, everybody wet them. We're all good? We all got toothpaste? Okay. I mean, on a usual week, how often does Kristen normally let you help and bathe them? Normally, she just likes to do everything herself. So usually never. So I let her. She just doesn't know how to stop. Well, you see, that's, that's why we're here, to allow you to step in. I mean, you're obviously doing an incredible job. That's uh, a challenge. We'll get there. You want to feed Riley? I'm kind of letting more roll off. I'm being a little more flexible. It just makes things go easier. Since our conversation, Scott is doing remarkably well and is no longer yelling at the girls. Everyone's cooperating. Scott's passed my test, but will he make the grade with Kristen when she returns? So, Olivia, Olivia, look at me one second. OK, you are so wonderful. Do you know that? Yeah. And let me tell you something. Your mom is finding it tricky to try and ask you for help. And we are trying to keep your mom healthy. Okay? And one of the ways that we can keep your mom healthy and strong is by helping her. Okay? All right. It's so nice to see Olivia setting the table on her own accord. It's a really remarkable turnaround from the girl I met at the beginning of the week. Get out from under the table now. Yeah. 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 Ma, there's a fork on the left or the right. She's finally got it. Thank you very much. Good job. Mom's returned healthier than ever. She must be so relieved. It was so nice that I was able to get away, relax, you know, take some time for myself and show him also that I could trust him uh, to take care of the kids and you know show myself that it's okay that other people can do things for us. I missed you! Hi! <laughs> Nanny, Yvonne, help me to realize that uh, raising seven girls on a day-to-day -day basis is, uh, is a full-time job, just like the real job I have. Put those shoes back and please get out of my room. <laughs> Doing it on your own is next to impossible. I feel like I know a little bit more what it's like to walk in Kristen's shoes now. Now that Scott has a better relationship with his girls, I thought it'd be great for him to polish it off by showing his softer side. So, Scott, I'm going to introduce you to your first girly activity. How would you feel about painting their toenails? I think toenails are a first. I don't mind. OK. You do it on your nose? No, we do it on the eye. Oh, okay. Your brush, mm -hmm. This one and this one. Yeah. Do you guys do this? No. That's right. Mommy or daddy, right? Yeah, mommy or daddy. Oh, can you see it? Yeah. Don't touch it. I said, can you see it? Oh, on your toes. <gasps> Pink nail polish. <laughs> he had painted their toenails, and he had done it all by himself. Thanks, daddy. Mm. Oh, thank you. I like playing tackle football better. <laughs> it's easy to relax when you're away from the house and the kids and sitting on a beach. Bedtime. The hard part is coming home and not doing anything while Scott's running around trying to take care of everything. My feet are dry. Your feet are dry, yeah. Nails dry quick. I'm so happy to see that Kristen is pleased with Scott's interaction with the girls. Huggy. She's clearly well on her way to a healthier lifestyle. Oh, nine, nine. Oh, big hugs. Oh. 
Good night, girls. Night. And their family lived happily ever after. I realized that Scott had done it all by himself, and I was really proud of him. Good job, honey. Thank you. decided to throw Kristen a surprise party. He's arranged for her to spend the morning getting a massage to top off the weekend of relaxation. Come on, we're gonna go out. Daddy, where are we going? In preparation for the party, Scott's taken the girls out for a day of shopping. Hannah, sit down. Hold my hand. I don't enjoy shopping. I don't even go clothes shopping for myself. What can I do for you? Hi. I'd like to look for uh, a couple of dresses for the three little ones. Something like this for the little ones? Molly, you like this? You like that? Is that cute? Should we try these on you? The challenge is just keeping all of them from disappearing. That also comes in baby blue. That's adorable, oh, that's huh? You look pretty. Kristen's definitely going to be surprised. I think that's to say the least. Let me see, Nat. Natalie. It's you so look pretty. so cute. Oh, so beautiful. What? You don't want me to talk? You just want me to pay? Ah, typical girl. Everybody stay right here, please. Don't front door. Juggling seven kids, it's, it's crazy. I really, I don't know how Kristen does it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's your sister? Anybody seen Amelia? Mimi. Mimi. Amelia. Mimi. Mimi. Amelia. Has anybody seen Amelia? Can't imagine what goes through your head when you can't find one of your kids. Four, five, six. Where's your sister? If Kristen finds out that uh, you know I lost one of the girls, you know uh, she's gonna be very upset. Mimi. 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 Have you seen Amelia? Mimi. Amelia. Come on. Amelia, listen to me, please. <laughs> you can't imagine how relieved I was to find Amelia. Two, four, six, seven. All right, we got seven. We're good. Come on. With only 35 minutes until Kristen's return, Scott and the girls must rush to finish the last minute party decorations. All right, girls, so you get ready. I said, take your socks off. All right. Getting ready today with a party. It gets a little hectic. Let's put this one on. You know, doing everything by yourself. Do you want this one? It's just a little crazy. A few more minutes. Scott's come so far. Kristen is going to be delighted to come home to her seven little darlings and a surprise party in her honor. We got three minutes, stand by. <gasps> Are your cousins? Here. I was so surprised to come home and realize there was a party just for me. A week ago, he, I don't believe he could have pulled that off. Scott had gone out and actually bought them all dresses for the occasion. Who got you these nice dresses? Daddy, this is probably the first party I didn't plan, so this is so nice just to walk in and enjoy it. <laughs> and he did a great job. I think Nanny helped just to a little more confidence uh, with the kids, handling them all on my own. The girls were so excited to show Mommy their little works of art. <gasps> that is so pretty! Very, very nice! The party is a huge success, and it's so great to see them all together. It's been a challenging week, but I'm confident that I've got to the heart of the matter. I would definitely have the nanny back to our house any day. She's wonderful. She's really helped our family and, uh, you know, helped me to realize that we need to start letting other people help us out. I'm so happy with the progress the Johnstons have made. Kristen has learned that it's okay to give up some of the control and allow Scott to participate more in caring for their girls. This has allowed Kristen to take better care of herself and Scott to grow closer to their seven girls.
Raising seven girls takes an awful lot of love and patience, and Scott and Kristen have shown they're up to the challenge. They're two of the most incredible parents I've ever met. Should we come see? What's this? My dear Johnstons, we at Nanny 911 have decided that you should take the rubber duckies I have left for you and put them in a brand new and much needed bathroom <laughs> we have arranged to be added to your home. Hopefully this will make bath time a little easier. My best wishes to you all. Your Nanny Yvonne. Oh.